Hello there, my name is Valerie White Williams and I'm a voice teacher and a vocal coach for Vocal Splendor Studios. Today I'm doing another reaction video and this time I'm reacting to Angelina Jordan performing the Queen cover, The Show Must Go On. Let's have a listen. <laughs> I wonder if she made that mask. I'm curious. I bet she did. Mm. Mm. Empty spaces. What are we living for? Abandoned places. I guess we know the score. On and on. Does anybody know? Interesting. She's got just lots of more flow. She's normally she does this kind of jazzy and has this like back phrasing, but she's long phrases. Everything's flowing. She's good. Another mind spot behind the curtain in the pantomime. Hold the line. <laughs> I did not expect that. Big belt. <laughs> She's got that great smile. But yeah, so skillful. And she still is doing these like word paintings, which is very impressive. Whatever happens, I leave it all to chance. Another heartache, another mm. fairy romance. All in all, does anybody know what we are living for? I guess I'm So she, when she does these reactions or when she does, when Angelina does these performances, she digs into the lyrics and makes them her own. It's very impressive and she's very confident with that. My soul is painted like the wings of butterflies. Fairy tales of yesterday will grow but never die. I can fly, my friends. The show must go on. Yeah, the show must go on. Ooh. I face it with a grin. Wow, that 
was something different. I could, I had to listen to her sing Queen and what a rocker she is. I've heard her sing like R&B and Adele and, you know, Whitney Houston and all these other singers, but that's, I think, the first time I heard her really rock it out. And she did great. I did not expect it. I mean, I should have expected it because she can do everything. But yeah, and the thing about her is that, again, she really internalizes the lyrics, makes it her own. And then also, she, I saw her just you feeling that rhythm in the body. Because when you sing that music, you got to feel that this. You got to feel it in your body. And then, of course, that mic was right in front of her, so I really couldn't see, but she had that bat. Totally different than what she normally sings. I mean, I love her doing the kind of jazzy with the back phrasing, but she has proven that she can sing anything. She probably could even sing opera if she wanted somewhere. We'll probably find something there. But she is so skillful and she listens. The thing about her is to sing well, you need to listen. I have had so many students that want to sing certain genres, but they don't spend enough time listening because the listening is really part of being a singer or any type of instrumentalist is you need to really listen and really analyze what they're doing and then copying what they're doing. So you get the feeling of how that genre is because unfortunately there's lots of people that mix genres up, but they, they don't listen enough to understanding the qualities of what's required to sing that genre. So for example, for her is that she was really spread out long phrases, lots of connection, lots of power and those big belts. So it wasn't a lot of this kind of jazzy phrasing at all. It was the strength, all the strength in the sound. And what I heard felt like it was very, we call safe. She wasn't belting out of control because some people just get a little heavy with it and it gets a little wonky, but it was, it was, it was perfect. It was great. I just wish I could see more because the mic was there because I always like to look at people's faces, but very impressed. Of course, how could I not? It's Angelina Jordan, right? So if you love Angelina Jordan as much as I do, make sure you subscribe and click on the bell so you get notified of all my uploads. And I would love to hear more of Angelina Jordan. i there's so many little covers she's made, but there's more to discover. So if you want to give me some suggestions of some that I might have missed, please let me know in the comments below. And also I want to let you know my two free passion projects. The first one is called Creative Soul Alignment, and that's for people that are interested in creativity and spirituality. And because when we are creating, we are experiencing the divine just like the creator. In fact, we have some artists there and there's recently someone posted a painting that was gorgeous that was inspired by Angelina Jordan. It was just awesome. So I love to have people, there's been people from all over the world there and just remember that we have the power to create our world. And when we come together and visualize a world that works for everybody, we can change this world. So don't forget that. And the other group is called YouTube Success Strategies, and that's where I'm teaching people how to succeed on YouTube. This is my main channel, but I have several other channels, and I want to help coach people how to build your channel so you could actually get clients and views and monetization. So if you're interested in either of those projects, you can find the information below in the description. All right, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.